Hi guys, Riddler here uh, with a new YouTube video um, and today I got delivered and I thought I'd show you finally it came uh, this the, this is uh, the game box um, this is the new uh, arcade <laughs> emulation console uh, from Japan um, or China I can't remember where it's come from exactly China, made in China um, now, a uh, lot of speculation and hope and questions have been asked about this console. I finally got one delivered today, so I thought I'd bring it and show you guys uh, what it looks like. Um, this is the box. Um, obviously, you've seen the pictures on the site from the from the website it was sold on, uh, advertising that it runs uh, all these arcade games. Um, pictures on the front of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Um, Oriental Legend, Knights of Valor, Metal Slug, Captain Commando. Um, it does have all these games on there. Uh, they do run. I haven't played them all yet. Uh, I'll show you a little video of a few of them. Um, but uh, I want to show you the console itself, which is here. Uh, this is it, the game box. It's very small, uh, it's black and it's very shiny, um, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I've, I had an idea of how small it would be looking at it next to the controller, but yeah, it's, it's quite small. Um, it's very, very light, very hollow, um, it has all the inputs, it has a mini SD input here at the side and a tiny USB, um, which... I'm going to try connecting to my laptop later and see what happens with that. Uh, it's a mini USB actually, that uh, it's the size that if you've got a Sony PSP, the USB that you connect from that to the PC, the small one is what goes in there. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to connect it up and see what happens with that and I'll let you guys know. Um, in the front it's got, if you open this flap here, it's got the four game ports that you plug the controller into. Uh, back it's just got your uh, composite video and audio and your power button uh, so that's pretty much it oh yeah obviously it's got <laughs> it's got the game, game card slot here at the side um, uh, I didn't get a game card with it there wasn't one packed with it uh, on the side of the box it does say uh, contents console analog controller DualShock 2 AV cable AC power cord and printed materials, so it doesn't come with the cartridge as it actually shows on the box. You'd think it'd come with a game cartridge, but it doesn't. Uh, the game cartridge itself looks like just a kind of a the style of a Game Boy Advance cartridge. Um, I've actually tried this with uh, my Game Boy Advance cartridges. It does fit uh, just about, but I didn't really know how to play the play it. Uh, I've put in the game, turned on the machine, and it's still loaded to the main menu. So I'm not really sure how you play Game Boy Advance games on here. That's something I'll have to tinker with and find out. Uh, here's the controller. Um, it's your PlayStation 2 style controller. Uh, it's got all the analogs. It's, it's quite sturdy, nice and chunky buttons, good feel. The controller itself is really light, uh, mainly probably because it doesn't have the rumble features inside of it um, the buttons are nice and clicky though and chunky um, so it seems alright, it's a USB connection um, so I'm going to I'm gonna stick it on now and then show you it running uh, as well uh, it's just to see how it goes here I'm just connecting it up by composite on uh, this HD TV um, there you go, we should boot straight up now actually into the main menu. So we should have a look. Oh, if I turn the telly on actually, <laughs> that might be a good idea. Let's have a look. And I might want to actually plug the controller in as well, that might be another good idea. Alright. Does that work? Do I have to reset it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's the main menu with all the games uh, that you get. I'll go through them. You can't see it very well, but I'll read them off to you. Um, at the very top, 
Uh, it starts with the. There's four Game Boy Advance games on here. The first one here, that's Metroid Zero Mission. Next one is Mario Kart Super Circuit. Um, 1941 Capcom. I don't think that's a Game Boy Advance game though. And. Uh, oh no, they're not all Game Boy Advance. This is Three Wonders, that's an arcade game as well. So there's actually two Game Boy Advance games, sorry. Uh, the rest are arcade games that you'd play on main. Um, the, I'll give you some examples. There's Captain Commando, like it said on the box. Cyberlip. Final Fight is on there, the world version. Uh, what else? Let's go down quicker. Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, King of Fighters, Mega Man, Power Battles. Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug 5, Metal Slug X, uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2, some Japanese version of Turbo, Street Fighter Zero is on there, uh, some SNK Capcom games, and a whole load of others. Um, I've played a, one or two of them. Um, they actually play very, very well. The graphics in them are nice. I think they've put on some sort of kind of video blitter that's made the graphics um, nice and smooth, so they're not like blocky and pixelated. They actually look really good, although there is some a little bit of choppiness in some of the games. I haven't played them all yet, so I don't know. Um, the sound is very kind of high-pitched or kind of tinny. Uh, so it's not perfectly emulated sound, um, to be honest. So let's kick up one of the games, start off one of the games, and uh, we'll see, hopefully give you an idea of what it's like. What should we pick? Uh, this is where I can never choose. Let's go for, let's go for Final Fight, why not? Alright, here we go. Right, yeah, so that's the menu. Well, it's the intro screen. You can press start or something to skip this. Oh, I don't know how to skip this, so we might have to watch it. Oh, there we go. You press the select button here. To put in your coins, to put in your credits. Uh, so start. Let's go. Uh, let's go for Hagar, badass. Right. Let's jump. Yeah, the graphics are really, really good. The sound is good on this game. It's not perfectly emulated sound, but it's 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 good enough for what I paid for it. <laughs> uh, I think I ex probably expected a little bit more, uh, but I'm I'm quite happy. I mean, it, I only spent thirty quid on it. It was thirty pounds, so. The, the selection of games I've got on here I'm pretty happy with. Um, yeah, the, the graphics are really good, like I said. I'll probably have to sit down with it a little bit more and play through just to see uh, how well it really is with all the games. Uh, now, when when you're playing a game, there's no actually there's no actual menu you can come out and press the games. If you hold the select button and press start, it does pause the game, um, but there's no way of actually resetting it back to the main menu unless you press the reset button here on the front of the console, um, and that takes you back to the main menu where you can choose another game. Um, 
I don't really know what to say about it else really. There's been a lot of questions, so if you guys got any questions you want to put to me, anything you want me to check or run or try out with this console, uh, barring obviously unscrewing it and opening it up because I'm not really up for doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, if there's anything you want me to test or try out for you, send us a, a question or a link or post a comment or whatever and I'll, uh, I'll be happy to do so. Um, so yeah, that's it really. That's the game box. Uh, I'll be I'll play through the I'll play through some more games and try out some other things. And as I learn more about the console, I'll post some more videos um, about it. So yeah, watch this space really. Um, yeah, not really not really too excited about it. But uh, uh, as it goes to, I was thinking about. This this kind of thing might might have been good for like building a little arcade cabinet with you know plugging in like a USB arcade stick or whatever, and then building the cabinet around it. But as it goes, it it doesn't look like at the moment. You know it's gonna it's gonna be really you know, good for that. As you, there's only a select few number of games that are built into the system. There's no cartridge that came with it, so mm. I don't know if they're gonna release any more at the moment. Uh, and I can't get any of my Game Boy Advance games to work on it um, yet. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a play around and see if they actually do work and how I can run them if possible. So I'm going to go away and do that now. And yeah, if you've got any questions, anything you want to know about it, post a comment, let us know, and I'll do my best to try and find out for you. Until then, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.